In this video, we will learn how you can automatically add order in Shippo on new order creation in WooCommerce. Let's say you want every time a new order is created in WooCommerce, simultaneously an order should be created in Shippo. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pavli Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically add WooCommerce orders in Shippo, let us first go to Pavli's website. You can see the landing page of Pavli. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli Connect. On the top right, you can see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. So we will simply name WooCommerce to Shippo. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a purchase is made, the action can be send a confirmation message to the user. Similarly, in our case, a trigger can be when an order is created in WooCommerce, the action can be add it in Shippo. Okay, so let us begin and select WooCommerce as a trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new order created. Now you can see a webhook URL. It is generated like this. So webhook URL is basically a link that connects to applications. So now let us copy this and follow these instructions and go to our WooCommerce to make the integration. So here it says nav navigate to left sidebar WooCommerce and settings. Okay, so here I am left hand side. You can see WooCommerce. Now I will from the sub menu, I will select settings. Okay. And now on the top, you can see advanced option. Just click there. Like it says here, you can see, just go to advanced tab, then webhooks and add webhooks button. So here now you will see webhooks in the setup, these options, just click on webhooks. And if you'll scroll a little down, you will see add webhook. Now let us name it. We are just going to write trial. You can name whatever you want. For the now you will see after giving the name, you have to set the status to active and choose a topic topic as order created. Okay, so I will select the status as active topic would be order created. Here in the delivery URL, I'm just going to paste the webhook URL that I copied from here. And now what we will do is we are just going to save this webhook. Okay, you will see webhook updated successfully. And now if you go to Pabli, you will see recapture webhook response. Just click on that. Yes, we wish to recapture. And now what we will do is we will quickly go to WooCommerce store and place a dummy order here. So to check if we have successfully established a connection between WooCommerce and Pabli. So here I have placed a t-shirt, a dashing white solid men round t-shirt worth rupees 1000. These are the billing details, sample, demo is the last name and the address Bhopal, India. These are the zip code and other details. So now I'm going to just place the order. Okay, it's processing. And you will see the order has been received. Now let us go to Pabli and see if it is able to capture the response. And you will see Pabli captured the response. These are the details here. If I'll take you, you can see the customer's name, shipping first name, last name, the shipping address is here, pain code details are here, the mode of payment is here. 
and if you will scroll further you will be able to see other details i'll show like product details a white solid man men round t-shirt the quantity is here the cost is here and this means we have successfully integrated woocommerce with pabbly now on to our next step that is the action step so here we will write shipo okay for the action event we will select create a new order connect add new connection and we need an api token here so for that what so for this we will have to log in to our shipo account then follow these steps settings and api okay this is my shipo account here on the left hand side you can see settings option just click there if you scroll down you will see api click there and here you can see you will see here two options live token and test token since we are just doing this for test purpose i am going to go with test token i'll click on generate token and you can see see it here we will copy it come back to pabbly and paste it here and save now it says it's connected now it needs few details like customer name customer email phone number customer uh, company name and other details if you'll scroll down you will see more details like line item is is there then the weight is there weight unit is there however if you will scroll above here in this response that was captured by pabbly you will see that there is nothing like weight here if i'll do control f and even try to search you will see here in the shipo it needs weight in the required field however here if you will go to the first step you will see a lot of details the name address cost product but you will not find weight anywhere so for that what we are going to do is we are just going to add a step in between we will write woocommerce again action event here would be retrieve a product by id so what we are going to do is we are going to use the product id that was generated here i'll show you you can see here product id we are going to use this id and get a lot of details about the product including weight of the product so let us connect this here we will go with existing connection as in the previous step we had already connected to woocommerce save now it's connected so here what we what we will do is we are just going to map it turn on the mapping button remove this click on woocommerce here search using product id like this okay you must be thinking where exactly are we getting this details from so i'll take you to step 1 where we connected integrated pabbly and woocommerce made placed a dummy order for test submission then pabbly captured all these de details regarding the shipping address the customer and the product the order that was placed so pabbly brought exactly same details here and that's how we mapped in so using this product we are going to retrieve a lot of details about the product save and send as request and you will see we have got a lot of several details like name of the product then if you'll scroll down it will also tell you the price and other things so i'm going to let's see if we found the weight here and yes like you can see here the weight is 0.25 so now we can use this in our next step okay now coming back to shipo we will reconnect so we will go with existing connection as we earlier connected with shipo so let me just save and now let us map in these details customer name comes here okay so let us search using name if you can see this okay sample then again sample demo that is was this was the first name this was the last name then the customer email again we are going to click here 
search using email if there is at all billing email okay this is the one customer phone number let's see if we have phone number here yes there is let's map it customer company i'm just going to leave it like this address i'm going to write address would, would be house number one two three give us space again we'll go we, we will give the full address here that is kamla nagar here this is the one customer city is going to be let me see then we are going to search using address so okay there is no city as of now in the address here so we will simply write here bhopal you can map the city now comes the state code so let me check state code is here yes mp customer country we'll just write india customer zip code again we are going to map it from here using postal this is the one sender name i'm just going to write the send sender name as abc sender's email again i'm going to write that tablitudes.com send a phone number if you would like to give okay then if you want to fill these address sender details you can i'm going to leave it empty for now send a country i'm going to give india then comes item titles so again we are going to map it from first step woocommerce we are going to search using line item you can see the name here dashing white solid men round t-shirt okay item quantity is here again we are going to search using quantity to get fast result the quantity is one okay if you want to give item sq you can map it from here we are going to leave it empty total price let me just okay this is the price here currency would be again we'll map it from first step you can see currency right here inr weight now wait for the weight we added this step remember retrieve a product by id so we are going to take it from here in the second step weight is 0.25 unit would be kg we are going to write order place date so date we are going to take it from here you can see the created date is here that is 10th september it, it, it isn't right in this format as you can see your month and date with the time okay order number you can use here so let us search using number and you will find this okay order status you can select any so I'm just going to select here partially fulfilled shipping cost in case you have you can map it from here or leave it empty. I'm going to leave it empty shipping cost currency is required. So that would be again INR like you can see here shipping method again if you want to give I'm going to leave it empty then the price will come here. So I'm going to map it from here. Total tax would be zero here. That is already included in price. Currency, again, we are going to take it from here. INR, weight from the second step. 0.25 unit is kg. Okay, we have given most of the details here like you can see. So I'm just going to save and send test request and you will see we have received the response with the object id order number order status is here and the other details now let us go to our shippo and see if this order was added over there and this is my shippos in the order section you can see this is our order the order is added here with the name sample demo the address is here the order details are here and this way we have successfully made the integration between WooCommerce and Shippo. Just one more thing, you must be thinking these mapped field here, fields here. So the best part about these mapped field here, the place date, order place date, order number, the weight currency is 
from next time these fields these mapped fields would automatically be updated so what will happen is when here when next time an order is created in woocommerce so these details in shipo the customer name the mapped in details like customer name customer email phone address product details these all these mapped in details would automatically be updated and you will not have to manually do it I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.